The first course this time comes from Mark Haugen in Minneapolis. It's a touch of the Southwest at that northern city. Smoked chicken soup with fried tortillas. Then James Burns prepares an entree from Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. He explores the world of tuna, serving a furiously seared filet with tuna tartare. Then from Bellagio in Las Vegas, Chef Kerry Simon presents dessert, topping his bruschetta of pears and apples with a drizzle of warm creme fraiche. In the late 80s, Tejas opened in Minneapolis. It flew under the colors of Southwestern cuisine, all the rage then, and the executive chef was Mark Haugen. It got off to a fast start, making John Mariani's best new restaurant list in 1988. Chef Haugen prepares this starter, tortilla soup. This is a traditional Southwestern dish that, uh, that uh, we sort of add a little pizzazz to with the uh, inclusion of smoked chicken. Um, avocado and jack cheese that'll go on the top. And the first thing I'm going to do is I've got chicken stock that I'm bringing to a boil. Add some tomato paste to that. And I want to add uh, carrots, diced carrots, onions, some red bell pepper, some uh, celery, some corn kernels. So I just want to bring this to a boil. And this will form the basis of the, uh, of the soup. Now what we're going to uh, garnish the soup with is uh, some smoked chicken that I have diced up some avocado slices that I'll slice in a minute, and uh, some julienne tortilla strips that are going to be deep fried. And uh, I had just have some white corn tortillas, and I just want to finely julienne those. Cut them into very thin strips, and these are going to go over the top of the soup. Once we have those julienne, I want to go ahead and deep fry those. After deep frying, the tortilla strips are seasoned with a little salt. Now avocado. Cut it in half, open it up, and then knock the seed out with my knife. And then I need a spoon to scoop the uh, avocado away from the skin and lay that out on the table. And then I just want to thinly slice this. Just beat up a little ahead of time and just put the avocado in the water. That'll keep uh, air from getting to the avocado and oxidizing and turning it brown. Or you could do it right at the last minute, just throw it right on top. Now the soup's been simmering. I want to add some uh, crushed tortilla chips. And these are just uh, from the bottom of the bag, basically. And that's going to give the soup its tortilla flavor. Just want to add that and then uh, some cilantro leaves, stems, and all, because we want to extract the flavor out of that. We're just going to let that come up to a boil again. Let it simmer for a couple of more minutes. After simmering for at least 10 minutes, the soup is strained, leading to presentation. And when you strain this, you want to use a, uh, a fairly fine mesh strainer, wire mesh strainer rather than like a colander or something like that. We use about uh, eight ounces of soup or so per, per portion. 
And then I've got some uh, zucchini, just some sliced zucchini and uh, sliced onion. And have the smoked chicken, diced smoked chicken. Bring it back up to a boil just to heat the chicken through. I'm gonna ladle that into the soup. Ladle that into the bowl, I mean. And then uh, just wanna top it off with uh, the Julienne corn tortillas. Cheese. This is grated Monterey Jack cheese. And a slice of the avocado. And a sprig of cilantro. Jay Bistro is located in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, more or less a suburb of Charleston. Chef owner James Burns, a native New Yorker, graduated from the CIA and spent most of his early career in the city. He prepares the entree of pan-roasted yellowfin tuna with tuna tartare. The chef begins by starting a reduction that will ultimately be a glaze for the tuna. It contains four parts balsamic vinegar to one part molasses. While that's reducing, we'll prep the tuna. Dice up the scraps here. The diced tuna is used for the tartare. Diced roasted bell peppers will go into the tartare. They include red, yellow, and green. Also to the tartare, I'm gonna add a touch of Dijon. Some fresh ground pepper. fresh basil, a little fresh thyme, and a pinch of salt. Incorporate thoroughly and chill until service. Next part, we're going to take some fresh arugula, toss it in a little simple vinaigrette. This is a garnish and is wrapped with a strip of roasted red bell pepper. It's 
wrap it up in the bell pepper. Another element of the plate is a shiitake salad. Stemmed mushrooms are quartered. They are sautéed with chopped shallots and garlic in olive oil. Season with a little salt. Fresh pepper. As the shallot starts to caramelize, you glaze the pan with a little of the balsamic vinegar. Take a little fresh thyme on it. Set that aside. I'm going to sprinkle the tuna with uh, some salt and pepper. Dot it with a little garlic. Some more time. We want to dot this. Some olive oil is patted on. The tuna is seared in very hot olive oil and goes into the pan, seasoned side down. Note the chef sears not only both sides, but the edges, too. Presentation begins with the swirl of the balsamic molasses reduction. Then the shiitake salad. Tartar is shaped into canals. Roasted tuna, bell pepper, and tuna tartar, and a warm shiitake mushroom salad.
The billion dollar Bellagio Hotel is one of the reasons Las Vegas transmuted into Disneyland for foodies. One of the restaurants in the complex is Prime, and the executive chef there is Carrie Simon. A CIA graduate, he cooked mainly in Manhattan before going west. His dessert is bruschetta of pears and apples. Okay, the next dish is a pear and apple bruschetta. And um, what I do is, is I take uh, sugar and I uh, puree it with a vanilla bean. Use the blade of a food processor. Then I take uh, pears, quarter them, take out the uh, core, Take apple, do the same thing with it. Use a Granny Smith for this. Okay, then I take the pears and the apples and I cut them about that size. Do the same thing with the uh, pears. So I take that, and I have uh, some that we already did in advance, that I'll add to it. Take the sugar, just sprinkle it on top. With that I add, um, well in this case we're adding a late harvest uh, white Riesling. Usually it's a somewhat of a sweeter wine. One cup. Just mix it up. I'm gonna get it all mixed well. Macerate for 20 minutes or so. Now I take a sourdough bread. And I, um, I slice it. It's already pre-sliced for us. For Slice it about that thick. I guess it's about a quarter of an inch. Then I butter it like this. Bruschetta is an Italian word usually denoting a savory hors d'oeuvre. Bread slices are rubbed with garlic, drizzled with olive oil, and often topped with products like tomatoes or olives. On the dish. I take the uh, mixture and I pile it up on the uh, bread. This works well with other fruits too. You can use uh, nectarines, uh, plums, pears, I mean, um, sorry, nectarines, um, peaches, plums. Try and keep it above the bread. Because it's gonna bake down a little bit. And I put some of the, the juice from the uh, marinade on it. And I bake this in the oven at about at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. 
You have to use your judgment when the apples and the pears are golden, then you pull it out. And I take uh, some creme fraiche, which I'm going to uh, warm up. Take about, for one, you just use a tablespoon. Pull out a bruschetta, as you can see. That's what I meant by the golden. While we're getting that warm, we'll fix our, uh, get our garnish together here. Take a vanilla bean, split it in half. If you're doing them for six, six pieces. You warm up the creme fraiche, then you just drizzle it on. Uh, you don't have to use all, all of it, you just use your judgment on that. Finish it with the uh, one vanilla bean. And we'll just uh, pull some pieces of mint off. And if you're going to use uh, peaches, plums, or nectarines, I'd cut down on the, uh, the wine by half. There's a lot more juice in those particular fruits. The apple, pear, bruschetta.